Hello, my name is Adam Corvo, North American Category Manager for APC Rack PDUs. Thank you for acquiring one of our NetShelter Rack PDU Advanced Mobile Demo Kits. The purpose of this video is to help you set up and demonstrate the innovative new offer. Today, in this video, you will walk through quick introduction of the offer and key features, learn how to set up the mobile demo kit so you can get more familiar with it and then share it with your customers and partners, share some interesting demos to start the conversation with your customers and open up opportunities for Rack PDU Advanced, before we get started, you will find the quick start guide in your demo kit with quick setup instructions. If you will simply be demoing the product and not networking the device or using the web interface, you don't need anything. You are all set. To network the kit, you will need the following as you set it up. A computer, access to standard NEMA 515 outlet 120 volt, iPad, iPhone, or an Android device with camera for the cool new augmented reality demo, Provided in the kit are Rack PDU Advanced, Input Cord 515 Plug, TP-Link Wireless Adapter, TP-Link Power Cord Adapter, and a network cable. So let's get started by opening up the kit and having a closer look at the PDU. The first feature we will highlight are the outlets. We'll start with the new innovative outlet design. Allowing maximum flexibility, the 4-in-1 combination outlets can be used as either C13 or C19 providing the flexibility to use a single PDU outlet layout to support various rack layouts and configurations. Also, redeployments, refreshes, and adding capacity is easy and straightforward and prevents the need to remove and discard a PDU and start over. Half of the PDU outlets are this new four-in-one combination, and the other half are a two-in-one combination C13 C15. Next, all the models include 40, 42, or 48 outlets to accommodate even the highest density of devices, allow for more installation flexibility, and provide room for growth within the PDU's power capacity limits. With this outlet density, we are capable of providing a really attractive price per outlet versus other models. For these next few features, we invite you to demo via the augmented reality demo to see a life-size Rack PDU right in front of your eyes. Using your smartphone and by snapping the QR code on the Rack PDU, color-coded outlets make the Rack PDU more intuitive and easier to use as the outlet color matches the circuit breaker. The alternating layout of outlets allows for greater organization and power cord management of devices installed in the IT rack, speeding installation and optimizing the rack space, resulting in reduced human error and increased airflow management. And lastly, switchable outlets with LEDs and numbers for easy identification, locking outlets with APC locking power cords to help prevent accidental unpluggings in busy data center environments. Also, while highlighting the physical features of the Rack PDU, we cannot forget other key items. The network management card can be replaced without powering down the Rack PDU or connected devices to minimize downtime in the unlikely scenario of an NMC power event. Simply press this tab and remove the display to rotate or either disconnect while the PDU is live. Even with such high outlet counts and power capacity, NetShelter Advanced Rack PDUs are designed to maximize space in a rack with a single width form factor, allowing for fewer PDUs to accommodate the same number of devices and power requirements. Install in a NetShelter up to eight Advanced Rack PDUs in a 48 inch depth AR335X and up to four in a 42 inch depth AR315X. Through the use of a pre-installed mounting pegs, NetShelter Rack PDU Advance can quickly be installed in the tooless mounting holes of the rare accessory channel in a NetShelter SX and many third-party cabinets. Mounting pegs can be repositioned to the side of the Rack PDU to rotate the orientation of the outlets 90 degrees and face the back of the cabinet for better clearance from device chassis or mounting rails. On the network management card, we want you to highlight these features. NetShelter Rack PDU Advanced provides a rich color LCD display for local management and control at the rack. Buttons for on-screen control at the rack. Local USB port for flash firmware updates and downloading data slash event logs. Dual network ports allow a second ethernet port 10 by 100 available to allow cascading to other PDUs 
or connect to a second private network or provide network redundancy. Two environmental sensor ports allow for optional sensors sold separately to be connected. Sensors available within the NetShelter Rack PDU Advanced portfolio include temperature, temperature humidity, temperature three sensors humidity, rope leak detection, and a door contact switch. Also available is an expansion hub to allow connection of up to three sensors, providing the ability to manage six separate sensors from one rack PDU. And lastly, to note, several protocols that can be used to communicate with the rack PDU. Let's walk through the rack PDU setup. Plug in the input power cord, the display and the outlet LEDs will light up. Apply power to TP-Link wireless adapter with micro SD cable and plug adapter. Plug in Ethernet cable to TP-Link wireless adapter. Plug in Ethernet cable to Rack PDU. Connect to wireless network with a PC TP-Link. Read IPv4 IP address from Rack PDU display. Note PDU automatically aligns an IP with DHCP. The display will automatically display the IP address. Enter IPv4 IP address from Rack PDU display to web browser. Enter the IP address that is shown here on screen. If prompted with your connection is not private in your browser. Select Advanced. Select Proceed to IP address. Enter credentials. Username is admin. Password is 12345678. You'll be asked to change the password upon the initial login. Now that the PDU is powered, we can take a closer look at the information accessed through the color LCD display. Let's review a few key sets of information that are frequently used. The LCD display is very valuable during installation and setup for a quick at the rack information. The PDU will automatically assign an IP address using DHCP. Easily check the IP address of the PDU by selecting settings, Network. Utilize the menu to select Settings, USB, and utilize this menu in a USB thumb drive to configure new firmware or upload download logs. Check Power and view total power device status or individual outlet power status. Lastly, plug in the provided temperature and humidity sensor and utilize the sensor menu to check the latest sensor data via the display. Next, we will log into the web interface of the Rack PDU Advance. Access the IP address from the display of the Rack PDU. Using a web browser, type the IP address of the PDU in the login with your username and password assigned during setup. First off, we recommend just spending some time playing with the interface. Understand what is there that is important to your customer, the menu structures for quick navigation during a demo, and to cover any questions that may arise. Some of the most important web interface information to understand are the following. Dashboard, which provides you key status and summary and access to any alarms. Control and manage menu in which you can control outlets on switch modules. Settings to view event notifications and thresholds like power and environmental and receive alerts when those thresholds are reached. And lastly, user settings for setting up users and giving certain access rights to information and control of the PDU. Now let's walk you through a few demonstrations that incorporate the features and the use cases of the Rack PDU Advanced. In this first demo, we are going to demonstrate the on-off outlet switching that is available on the Switch Rack PDUs. From the dashboard, access the Control and Manage menu. Toggle the Outlet Control Enabled button to allow outlets to be turned on-off. Select an outlet to toggle to off and confirm the off action. View the outlet LED on the PDU next to the outlet number you selected turn off once the action takes place. Turn the outlet back on. This simulates a server reboot that can be done remotely, saving precious time money for remote sites such as co-located data centers or edge sites away from the data center personnel. In this second demo, we are going to demonstrate the sensor support that is possible with the PDU. Make sure the provided temperature and humidity sensor is plugged into the sensor port on the network management card. Place the T3 sensor in the palm of your hand and close your fist. This will begin to warm the sensor for the demonstration. Using the web interface, access settings, thresholds, external sensors. Update the external sensor 3 to a new high warning threshold. This simulates one of the many sensors that can be used to gain insight into the environment and warn via an alarm 
of any impending danger to the PDU and IT assets within the data center rack. In closing, thank you for taking the time out of your day to learn more about the NetShelter Rack PDU Advanced Offer. This mobile demo kit can help you communicate the value this new innovative offer brings to your customers and partners. If you haven't done so already, we invite you to explore a full-size Rack PDU right where you are. Using the Rack PDU Advanced Augmented Reality Experience. To learn even more, we invite you to visit www.apc.com backslash PDU dash advance to watch an overview video, explore the 3D Sketch 5 model, link to apc.com to shop now. Thank you for watching. Again, I am Adam Corvo, your North American PDU category manager. Please contact me at my information below with any questions. Please leverage your kit to open up new doors or PDU opportunities and happy selling Net Shelter Rack PDU Advanced.